What is it? I got hurt. Come on in. How'd that happen? The picture fell over. The glass broke and I stepped on it. Let me see. Oh, oh I'll go get some antiseptic and a band-aid. You'll be all right. I had a dream about Uncle Sam. He wasn't dead. We were marching in the 4th of July parade, and everyone was cheering him. Honey, you were so young when he went away. You hardly remember him at all. Yes, I do. He was always nice to me. Daddy, you're imagining that. He never paid much attention to any of us. <laughs> you didn't like him a lot, did you? Of course I did. He was my brother. You don't talk about Daddy much either. That's entirely different. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to go back to bed, please. I didn't mean to bother you. I just thought I might bleed to death. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. How come I can't come in? You're supposed to be on duty. Who's gonna know? All right. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be off in about an hour. I can come back. Just stop that and get on with your business. We have all weekend. Well, can I at least get a good night kiss? You already did. Mrs. Harper? Who are you? Oh, I, I'm sorry to startle you. you. You weren't in, so I, I waited. What do you want? It's about your husband. Sam? It's been over three years. That... My God, he's, he's not alive. A Kuwaiti military unit discovered his crashed helicopter in the desert. They positively identified the body. All this time not knowing. Well, now, if you want, he could be interred in the National Cemetery. 
N no, there's a place for him next to his mother and father. Well, I'll make arrangements to stay on and supervise the details. I I'm staying at, uh, at this motel if, if you need any assistance on my part. Thank you. He's entitled to be buried with full military honors, Mrs. Harper. He was a hero. These are his dog tags. I'm sorry, Mrs. Harper, but you'll get over this in time. Good night, ma'am. Donuts. Too many mock balls, too. Whew. Sergeant Jed Crowley reporting his order. Come, it was me you let come home. I, I never made anything out of my life. Nothing. Nothing at all. They're coming in a little fast, Sarge. Hang on, everyone. This party's gonna get a little wild. Blast it! I might as well be loading with a heap of empty helmet. Just turn enough to squeeze up one shot. Sergeant Sam Harper takes his aim and... Look out, Captain! I've still got a few tricks up my feet. Fire! Rip that tap, rip that tap! Hey, look at you. Aren't you going to work today? I'm taking the day off. You look drained. What's the matter? Uh, Jody, why don't you go get your books? Okay. Come on, let's go. Uh, did you clean up that broken glass in your room? Yeah, before I went back to sleep. Okay. Oh, what's the matter? Somebody from the army came by the house late last night. They found Sam's body. Oh, my God. For a minute, I thought that he was going to tell me that he was still alive. I thought about that so many times, about, about him coming in the house, walking through the door, and it all starting all over again. Why couldn't they have just sent a telegram? I don't know. They're arranging for the body to be sent back here. I don't know how Phil is going to react to all this. Don't worry. He knows how you felt about Sam. I thought I'd almost forgotten the way he made me feel. The fear when I knew he was in the house and... Maybe I can still tell them not to send the remains back. Look, Louise, if you don't do the right thing, people won't stop talking about it. I know. I didn't sleep all night. Well, your house isn't big enough anyway. We'll bring him here. I'll just move the furniture out of the living room and start making all the phone calls. 
I'll notify the funeral home for you, okay? Thanks. This is gonna be a 4th of July we'll never forget. Mr. Crandall? Yes, Jody. Something happened at our house. A soldier came and told us that my uncle's body got found over there in Kuwait. Sam? Sam Harper? Yes. Do you know he was a student in my class? How'd the guy get killed? He was a gunner and a chopper that got shot down. But there was a lot of talk that it might have been us that did it. Um, why would we shoot our own helicopter down? Well, uh, it's called friendly fire. You have to understand, mistakes are made in combat. It's always a tragic situation when things like that happen. My Uncle Sam, he fought in Grenada and down in Panama. He had medals. My Aunt Louise let me have them, if you want to see. Um, yes, sure. Bring them up here, Jody. Share them with the class. He was a master sergeant in a special assault unit. When he got wounded down in Panama, they gave him this. It's a Purple Heart. Were you ever in the Army, Mr. Crandall? No, I, I can't say that I ever was. How come? Well, I grew up during Vietnam, and um, many people thought that was an unjust war. Many young people, like myself, protested the war. In fact, some people left the country for a while. Ran away? It was a very difficult thing to do, Jody. But you have to understand, that those who left the country felt it was a lesser evil and blindly following orders they knew were wrong. My Uncle Sam said you guys were cowards. Okay. Uh, please, just take your seat. I didn't say you were. I just said that's what he said. Okay, class, take out your math books. Turn to page 84. I want you to copy these equations off the blackboard. When I'm growing up, I'm going in the army. Just like Sam did. And I'll do whatever the president says to do. Because he knows better. I wanted to help them carry him in. He was my uncle. Is it all right if I touch it? It's sealed. How come I can't see him? Well, your uncle suffered a great deal, son. I have all his medals. I want to put them inside. He should have them on. You know what? I think he'd rather you kept them. You're very proud of him, aren't you? 
He was the only one around here who ever did anything important. In eight or nine years, I'll be able to enlist. I bet you can't wait. Nice to have met you, soldier. Ma'am, I'm going down to Bingham tomorrow to arrange for the honor guard. Thanks again. You've uh, been very kind. Thank you. If you need anything, you know how to get in touch with me. Right. Thank you. Jody, stay away from the coffin. It's not something to play with. I wasn't playing. Pumping a local deputy. So what? I ain't gonna get a little piece of that action before I leave here. I'll tell you something else. Sister's not bad either. <laughs> yeah. I must be batting 750 with the bereaved. <laughs> yeah, before I volunteered for the job. Called uh, public relations. <laughs> I'll talk at you later. take you out. Oh, I didn't want to leave Jody alone in the house. Not with that coffin in the living room. Yeah, I guess I could frighten the kid. Here you go. You know, that's what bothers me. It doesn't frighten him. He just hangs around it all the time. You never talked much about your brother. Well, we weren't close. He ran away when he was 14, came back a couple of years later with a bad drinking problem. Jody, come on down for dinner. I'm not hungry. You come down right now. You uh, look like you could use this. Thank you. Ralph's here. Good to see you again, Jody. Here you go. Can I just make a plate and take it upstairs? No, you cannot. Now sit down and eat your dinner. I'm in the mood to celebrate tonight. We beat the government's ears off in court. That's great. Yep, the judge upheld every one of our tax shelters. <laughs> We would have been in real trouble if they'd done their homework, but of course the IRS sends down a couple of junior agents who've got a huge workload. They haven't got time to go over all the documents. We just wear them out by burying them in tons of paper. You mean you cheated them? Jody. I'm just smarter than they are, Jody. That's all. It's Ralph's job, Jody. He's very good at it. You see, Jody, nobody likes to pay taxes, but before you know it, the government is taking half of what you earn. We've just figured out legal ways of getting around it. <laughs> I'm finished. No, you're not. Hey, how 
how would you like to join me up on the float in the parade on Thursday? I'm gonna be Abraham Lincoln. Yep, I have been honest, Abe, for the last five years now. I even bought the damn costume so I don't have to rent it anymore. What do you say? No, thanks. I'm full. Can I go? Okay. But, um, turn off the TV by 9 o'clock, okay? I'm not watching TV. I'm in mourning. Wow. You know, maybe he'd show me more respect if uh, you'd show me a little more affection. Um, not now, Ralph, please. Come on, there's a dead body in the house. Be awful lonely being dead. Would you like some refreshments, Jen? Oh, no thanks. You know, Sam really looked up to you. He should have liked hearing your stories about the war. Then, I guess uh, I've got a lot to apologize for. It's the right one. Jody, honey, it's not polite to stare like that. Oh, it's perfectly all right. The boy's just curious. I suppose you'd like to see it. Yeah. Come on. How come it doesn't fall off? Well, it's strapped on, sort of. Huh. Well, I don't have to worry about termites. You're kidding. No, I ain't kidding. Tell you what, wrap on it if you like. It won't hurt me. Go on. I heard it got blown right off. Landmine. <laughs> what else did they tell you? Nothing. Yes, they did. But it wasn't so. Otherwise, how'd I get to be a father? Or a grandfather. No. All those other parts made it back just fine. 
I saw a movie once where a guy woke up in the hospital and he could still feel his leg, but it wasn't there anymore. Uh, that's like uh, what they call a, a ghost leg. It's gone, but I swear some nights I can still feel my toes down there twitching. And then I flip the light on right quick expecting to see it. And you just take it off at night? You toss it under the bed. <laughs> I remember one time my wife got real mad at me. And she hid it for two days. <laughs> I bet you I behaved then. Yes, sir, I really behaved. You know, she passed over a whole lot of good men with two legs to marry me. God love her. I don't know if I should be in the Army, Marines, or the Air Force. You get that idea out of your head right now, boy. Things ain't like they used to be when we knew who and what we were fighting for. Hitler and Tojo and, and, and Mussolini. We knew what we had to do and why. Today is all mixed up. Nobody knows the whys and wherefore, Sonny. A smart boy like you ought to know enough to keep out of it. Be a doctor. Save some lives. Forget about killing. Somebody's got to be soldiers. You don't want to get sent back in a box. Maybe it's better than dying in bed. Everybody dies anyway. I guess you aren't going to listen to me, are you? Did you try to talk Sam out of it? Unfortunately, I feel his head full of tales of glory. How we moved up from the beach and took those Korean buckers out. How my sergeant died and I was given a battlefield promotion to take over the squad. Maybe I didn't tell him that I was the only one of nine men to survive. And then all of me didn't come back. No. Sam wasn't like you. He was an angry kid. He had to get it out of his system. I remember I took him hunting once. And it scared me. You see, he liked killing. Isn't that what makes a hero? Let me tell you something. There are no heroes. Only crazy men who lose their mind in the middle of a battle. Every sane person's got his head down, trying to stay alive. But one lunatic runs out there, out of control, crazy full of hate, and if by some miracle he doesn't die, they pin a ribbon on him and send him home and tell him never to be crazy again. Hm. You want to be a hero. Say goodbye to your mother for me. Shame is, it was all about oil. And that's the God's honest truth, keeping some rich Arabs rich. I mean, those poor boys, they died for nothing. Why don't you just shut up? Jody. I'm sorry, but that's it. You're grounded for the whole weekend. I mean, no parade tomorrow, no picnic, no nothing. Do you understand? Fine. I didn't want to go anyway. Well, just go up to your room. Anybody bad mouths this country, you go right after them, no matter how big they are. People who don't respect the American way of life deserve to have their butts kicked. Stay tough, soldier. Uncle Sam.
You got that lighter fluid? Here, let me do it. Oh, yeah, get it on. Spread it around, baby. Spread it around. Come on, light it up, light it up, light it up. I got it, man, chill. Ah! Yeah! yeah. Oh. Oh. You pervert! Stay away from my house. I'm gonna call the cops this time, Willie. <laughs>
Now look what we've done. I gotta wear this in the parade tomorrow when it's all messed up. What happened to your face? I hope you got an eyeful. <laughs> Catch up with you guys in a second. Better go back and look for him. Nope. I gotta get back before my dad sobers up and finds out I'm gone. All right, you go on then. I'm gonna go back and look.
Take your places, everyone. And remember, no waving at relatives or family. I want you to keep in character. Taylor, Taylor, remember now, you are young Washington. And Jeff, you're his father. Taylor, put the can of soda down. I want you to take this seriously. All right, the hatchet. Where's the hatchet? You don't have it? Well, who's got the hatchet? I've had about enough of this nonsense. Well, maybe it's back in the classroom. I'll go look. No, Taylor, you stay right where you are. I'll go get it. that hatchet. Hey, what's the holdup? We'll miss our place in the march. Um, Mr. Crandall, I'm back to get the axe. In this. She had no right to take them. exactly why we are going. So they can all see what they did to you. Madge, if the boy feels uncomfortable... It's just like you to back down again. They were all juveniles. No one was going to put them in jail. They're all going to be there today. Their parents, too. All of them having such a good time. Well, they won't have so much fun once we get there. I can't believe the Cronins are here. See what happens when you play with fireworks. Don't stare. Come on. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Cronin. Is it all right if I talk to Barry a minute? Here's your friend Jody. Yeah, it's me. I'm glad you showed up. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be grounded. I'd like to come over sometime. We could kind of hang out. Come on, Barry, I know you can hear me. I'll come over and we'll do stuff. Like what? I like listening to CDs where I can read to you. I got a whole collection of war comics. <laughs> I don't think so. He is still recuperating, you know. Madge, the boy needs somebody besides us. He's got to have friends. His friends did this to him. I wasn't there that day, Mrs. Cronin. I swear I wasn't. celebration. But before I introduce Congressman Cummins and all our entertainers, we're going to have the national anthem sung by young Jesse Colbert. So Jesse, why don't you come on up here? Well, uh, Richard Lee, it's for you guys. Miss Brasher. So 
that man what there was a man here just a minute ago he just ran away oh you mean uncle sam who's in that uncle sam suit damn if i know but he sure does make a good one doesn't he <laughs> No glasses. No glasses. Huh. Don't I have anything better to do than uh, waste the day talking to these hicks? Alvin, you need every vote you can get. Not to get reelected, but to keep vote. them being hey, called. Looks like said the crowd was going to be friendly, Dan. I'm surprised that cheap crook has the nerve to show his face. We can't all be war heroes, Jed. Oh, can't be as bad as all that. Congressman, you had 14 fictitious on, people in the government payroll. Well, you ought to... Hi. Are you kidding? You ought to be able to plea bargain that down for me. Be grateful that there are people here willing to listen to you without throwing rocks. I suppose you found it quite amusing when that boy went up there and made mockery of the national anthem. Your kind of humor. Hell, it's a lousy song. Nobody can remember the words. I'll give you 50 bucks if you can recite all the words without making a single mistake. See? You can't do it. Nobody can do it. Francis Scott Key. I mean, what else did he ever write? Nothing. Not a single other hit. Hmm. Hell, yeah, he know.
for it, aren't you? What are you gonna do? Well, what do you think I ought to do? Kid your age. Where'd you get this shit from? I found it. Mm-hmm. You got any more on you? Come on, empty out your pockets. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to get back there and you help your mother at that smoker. You work the rest of the day, you make yourself useful, and maybe we'll let this go. You hear me? Yeah. Okay. Nice costume. Can you help me find my way back to the road? Freak. Damn. Who the hell are you? Don't put your arm around me. Sorry. Oh, Just seems like the natural thing to do. Besides, everyone knows we're seeing each other. That's not them I'm worried about. Well, then who is it? Everybody get lots of munchies? Yay! I don't know. Yes. Come on, Louise. No one's paying any attention to us. Let's get some ice cream. Hi. Cherry? That'll be one dollar. It's Sam, isn't it? He's long dead, and you're still afraid of him. Funny. That's exactly what attracted me to him in high school. Nobody ever got in his way. Well, we all knew he had a mean streak. Where well, you shoot, you should get a job working at the post office. You know, pal, you should take it easy. After all, we're doing this for charity. Hey, Ralph. How long are you going to sit up there? Come on. Am I going to have to spend the whole day by myself? 
Don't give me the silent treatment, you. All that loud music. I didn't hear any gunshot. Why would anybody try to hurt Ralph? He was so harmless. I know why. He was a crook. Jody, just be quiet. You're not even supposed to be here. God, I'm sorry. I guess no place in this country is safe anymore. Ah, uh, Mayor. Are we actually going to go through with the program for this afternoon? Or... Well, I don't see why not. Folks have been looking forward to this day all year. Damn. Clyde, Dell. Get this Listen, body out of here. I need you to stall your speech for a few hours. I want out of here. No, oh, let's give the television and news people the chance to show up. Look, this isn't just some hayseed picnic anymore. It's a major news story and a chance for you to talk about law and order. All right, TV, yes. Glasses? No glasses. What do you think? Killed Ralph got away clean. They'll never catch him. Jody, just keep your opinions to yourself, okay? I know. I'm still grounded. I'll go home. If Sam was around, this would never have happened. He would have nailed the killer and broke both his arms. Jody, your uncle wasn't a superhero. Life isn't a comic book. He was too a hero. Why do you always put him down? Maybe because he did some very bad things to us. Like what? Well, why don't you tell him? <sighs> He's too young, he wouldn't understand. Why wouldn't I understand? Look, I don't want to discuss it, okay? Because it's a lie? <sighs> Look, why don't you let me tell him? He's got to find out sometime. Louise, you're exhausted. You don't know what you're saying. But I do. If we don't do something, he's going to grow up just like Sam. I am going to be like him. You see? Jody, your Uncle Sam wanted everybody to be afraid of him. Especially me. He hurt me so badly that I was afraid that one day he might kill me. You're making that up. Now, why would I do that? Why would I want you to hate him? I don't know. She's telling the truth, Jody. I know it's an awful thing to say. But I was so happy the day that he got married and moved out of the house. Because then he'd have another victim instead of me. Louise, I'm sorry. I could have warned Louise. I could have told her about what he'd been doing to me since I was six years old. But I didn't. Things I couldn't even tell Mom and Dad. Things I knew were wrong. But he had a power over me. I, I just couldn't fight it. That's enough. He said enough. I think that's what came between me and your father. Don't you see, honey? I just couldn't trust men. Honey, do you understand what she's trying to tell you? I'm sorry that happened to you. Come here, baby. What's happened in the past happened, okay? But he's had a hold on you ever since you were a little boy. He could fight better than anyone. Well, he fought a war in our house all our lives, and we were the losers. So why'd you take my medals? What medals? I didn't take any medals. You know, Uncle Sam's medals, the ones I kept under my bed. Jody, why don't you, uh, why 
Run along now, son. I need to talk to the ladies. They, uh, found another body. This one with the head cut off. Someone's been killed. Event. We got some good music coming. Now, how'd you know that? Congressman Cummings there are others. Is going to award the prize Other dead ones, too. Followed by the Sorry. biggest fireworks display we've ever we had. We should have left you in the shade. So there's no reason for anybody to leave, and we wouldn't want to disappoint the children, now would we? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a few words from Congressman Cummings, who will present the award for this year's cook-off. So, Congressman, you want to come on up here? <laughs> Listen, he went back to the limo to work on his speech, and now the driver can't find him. Well, we gotta move along with the program. I understand. Okay, now we want to thank the Chamber of Commerce for these fireworks, and the Twin Rivers Fire Department for setting them up safely, so we don't have a repetition of last year's tragic event. Now let me call your kind attention to our fireworks tower and our big show. Take it away. your mother in the car and I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'll push the wheelchair. Hey, thanks, friend. How do you unlock oh this thing? They're on God. the sides. God. We don't have to run. God. He won't hurt us. Oh Who? He talked to me. He touched me. You mean the tall guy in the Uncle Sam costume? He knows I'm your friend. He knows me? Did he tell you who he is? Oh, he didn't need to. He's your uncle, Sam Harper. My uncle Sam? But he's dead. I never said he wasn't. What are you two kids still doing here? Let's get the hell out of here. We gotta go to the police! We know who did it. Is that so? Well, I think the cops can handle this without your help. I mean it. We know. All right. All right, why don't you try it out on me first? It's the guy in the Uncle Sam costume. Good thing you didn't look too close. He might have killed you, too. Who the hell was it? You're not going to believe me. My uncle, Sam Harper. Oh, sure, he just got up and out of the coffin. Something like that. Look, I'm too old for this crap. Cut it out! Didn't you tell me you could still feel that leg of yours? Even though it's gone nearly 40 years? You don't forget anything, do you? When I bumped in that guy in the striped suit, this, this feeling came over me. 
I haven't felt since I was laying in that foxhole. With everybody around me dead. It was cold and bodies froze. And I could only keep from freezing by piling them on top of me. That feeling of being surrounded by death. It all came back to me. So we have to tell somebody. You already told somebody. Me. Where are we going? Have a look in that casket. So now you believe in ghosts, huh? I thought ghost posts come out in the dark. Not in broad over daylight on the 4th of July. I, I've got to take her to emergency. You do that now so your boy gets home. Oh, that's mighty decent of you, Jed. Now you do just like Jed says, you hear? That's the sergeant. Jesus. I guess you believe me now. Yeah, I guess so, kid. What are we going to do? Get out of here for sure. Where are we going now? Don't say nothing. What were you all doing in there? Uh, uh we, um... We, we, we came by to pay our respects. Yeah. I know where I'd go if I was him. Where? I'd go get my wife back. What's the boy talking about, Jed? Look, don't ask any questions. Call the police. Louise needs protection. Uh, I'll, I'll just go there myself. No, 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 please. Promise me you'll stay right here because there's nothing you can do. Look after the kids. I'll be back as quick as I can. Jed, I wish I knew what you were talking about. Take care of the boy. Okay, look, you guys, just stay right here, all right? I'll be back in a minute. What are you kids doing here? We're going with you. I don't need your help, so go home. Sam won't hurt anybody if I'm there. Is that so? He's right. Sam thinks we're on his side. Damn kids. Go home to your mother. He's a real soldier. Oh, 
for your country. You just kill for the love of killing. You're nothing. So just die. Oh, Jody. My poor grieving wife. Bitch won't die. Go on, get out. Jed, get the cannon. Come on, let's get out of here. We need to go back down. Make sure she's okay. I came back for you. You are the reason I'm here. I want him to be like you. You have to be dead first. Are you volunteering? Killing Americans? Americans? These are the same people that left me to die in the desert. Well now, now they've gotta face me. Your Uncle Sam. Seas together to show I'm not afraid. They're coming now. with Jody there. I'll get out of the way. I'm staying with Sam. He's taking me back with him. Is that boy done going nuts? Light it. Can you all see us? We belong together. He's my uncle.
right! <laughs> yes! <laughs>